Hello everyone, welcome back to Smart Girls Life and today we are going to be reading, understanding the chapter of science atmosphere. So this is the episode number two of atmosphere and let's get started. So first of all here we are reading about the ozone layer. What is the ozone layer? Ozone layer is very important. It is present in the stratosphere and it is very important because it protects the earth. It protects the earth from the harmful rays of sun. We know that sun gives the plants sunlight and plants make photosynthesis with the help of sunlight. We know that the sun is very useful but it is also harmful because it has some harmful rays and the ozone layer protects the earth from the harmful rays of the sun and one example of the harmful rays is UV ultraviolet rays. Ozone layer is very important because it protects the earth from the harmful rays of sun such as UV ultraviolet rays. Ozone is a form of oxygen, O3. The ozone layer is a form of oxygen. It is a form of oxygen, O3. In other ways, in other ways, in easy words, the ozone layer is a protective blanket for, for the planet Earth. It it's, is a protective blanket. It is a blanket that protects the earth the planet earth so this is the basic things about the ozone layer that it is present in the stratosphere it is very important it protects the earth from the harmful rays of sun one example of the harmful rays of sun is uv ultraviolet rays ozone is a form of oxygen o3 and in other ways the in easy words the ozone layer protects the planet earth then we have the composition of the air now composition of the air in composition of the air we are going to we are going to study what gases are present in the air and what is their percentage in the air how per how many percent are there are the gas in the air F for, so we have the five main types of things and gases present in the air nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide and the other gases like neon argon helium and water vapors so in nitrogen we have nitrogen there is 78.08 percent of nitrogen in the air okay then we have the second gas oxygen there is 20.94 percent of oxygen in the air then we have carbon dioxide we have zero point zero three percent of carbon dioxide in the air then we have zero point ninety five percent of the other gases present in the air zero point ninety five percent of argon helium and the other gases water vapors water vapors are variable in the air what does that mean that they do not have a fixed percentage sometimes water wrappers are low sometimes they are too much then we have the definitions of nitrogen N2 and oxygen O3 so first of all we should know that nitrogen and oxygen are very important for us and uh, the nitrogen is the gas 
that is the most in the air nitrogen has the you can see here nitrogen has the highest percentage nitrogen has the highest percentage in the air it has 78.08 percent in the air so you can say that it is the most abundant gas other than that oxygen living things need oxygen to live we can't live without oxygen who gives us oxygen plants give us oxygen and uh, the main question we can only live on the earth because there is oxygen on earth on the other planets there is no oxygen so that is why we cannot live on the other planets like mars and jupiter saturn and another thing oxygen supports burning if there is no oxygen in the air then there will be no gas no flame no no fire nothing so let's get on with the reading nitrogen n2 the most abundant gas the most abundant gas that means the the gas that has the most quantity the most abundant gas in the atmosphere is nitrogen they are saying that the gas that is that has that is spread widely or that has more percentage in the air the the gas that has the most quantity in the air is nitrogen it also has a bunch of uses they are saying it has a bunch of uses it is used for preservation of food in medicines it is used in medicines for preservation of food electronic industries like the industries that uh, that create electronic materials and in stainless steel you know about stainless steel we use it in our homes stainless steel pans stainless steel plates and things then we have oxygen o3 oxygen is the most important gas nitrogen is also important but oxygen is the most important gas for living things living things need oxygen to live even plants we know that plants exhale oxygen oxygen is not good for them but uh, we will re in the next few videos i will tell you about photosynthesis and why plants need oxygen plants also need oxygen to breathe they keep some oxygen and exhale the other oxygen so all living things animals humans plants need oxygen to live that is why oxygen is the most important gas because because all the living things need it if there is no oxygen no animals no humans no plants life on other planets is negligible they're saying life on other planets is negligible that means that we can't live on other planets we will not survive on other planets why will we not survive on other planets we will not survive on other planets because of the absence of oxygen there is no oxygen on the other planet and we have just read all the living things need oxygen to live humans animals plants so if there will because there is no oxygen on the other planets even if we go to the other planets we will we will die there we cannot survive there because of the absence of oxygen it is also a factor which supports burning oxygen supports burning if there is no oxygen if there is no oxygen there is no flame no fire okay so this was all for today i hope this was very understanding for you guys 
and i will meet you in the next video and hopefully we will complete this chapter in the next video and please don't forget to like and share subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos bye